guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar, T R I P O L A R, and welcome back to a brand new episode of How to Super Mario here on the Nintendo Switch edition of Minecraft. And guys, today I'm teaching you guys how to build a brand new statue. So, guys, make sure you go below and smash that like button down below. Last time we built Mario, so if you want to know how to build him, uh, make sure you go check out the other video. But smash that like button, it really helps us out. Let's try to give a 1,000 likes uh, on this video. Thank you guys for non stop uh, for your constant support and everything like that. Uh, but guys, also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, we post new tutorials and new Minecraft episodes, uh, mostly Mario, every single day. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, it would be very, very awesome. Uh, and you'll never miss a video. Also, guys, uh, if you want to share your own mini statues or the ones that I built with you guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links are in the description. As well as the merchandise stores, you can go uh, check out any of those links and follow, you, follow me there. But guys, without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Now, a lot of you guys... Uh, down below we're asking and a lot of you guys said that you wanted Mario's fair fair lady so today uh, we are building the beautiful a uh, princess Piace which is gonna be kind of uh, kind of difficult folks so I don't know how this is going to go over but I'm going to try my best um, to see uh, to build her for you guys uh, but we do have to use wool today uh, which is a little bit different because the wool just offers more colors so guys that is what we're gonna do so without further ado let's get right into it now I want to make the show they're far apart so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 uh, that's how far uh, we'll make them apart from each other uh, and then we can get right into it uh, so let's do it so guys what you want to do uh, for pizzas you can see her dress kind of goes up and crazy and all over the place so what we're going to do to make it seem like it's going up and crazy and all over the place is do um, usually I would have the two right here but now we're gonna go uh, two out from that two right there so we're gonna make it six uh, in instead of two. So we actually doubled it, and then we have to go uh, by uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's six, is it? One, two, no, that's seven. Okay, go by six. There we go. Okay, uh, and then we're going to make it a perfect uh, six by six. So we should have two in the middle. There we go. So we have a perfect six by six uh, with this uh, sort of wool down here. Uh, then what we're going to do is uh, is build it up again. We're using the magenta wool, uh, so make sure you guys are using the magenta wool as well. I wouldn't want you to use the wrong wool. That would be embarrassing. Uh, and then what we're going to do uh, is just go up one layer, just like this. Uh, and have her uh, then is going to be a uh, four. Uh, so what we can do uh, then is uh, go up the four, uh, just like that, just like that, just like that, just like that. Um, and uh, oh wait a minute, folks, I'm actually going to change something uh, really quick. All right, what we're gonna do is actually make the bottom eight by six. Um, so my bad, uh, I didn't want to uh, mess you guys up here, but it looks like I'm going to do it anyway, even though because uh, I was building it and I was like, wait, this is not going to be three layers. Uh, so let me go. Uh, and do an eight by six uh, sort of thing. So the second one, uh, you just want to fill the hole. So you're going to make this a uh, six by six, six by six by four, six by four, one, two, three, four, six by four. Okay, so my bad, guys, kind of missed, kind of missed the mark there. But it should look something like that. So you have eight, and then you have six. It's like layers of cake. Uh, but anyway, then you guys are finally going to go up and have six right here. So you're going to go two, two, two. Uh, basically, start out uh, with an eight uh, by uh, by one, two, three, four, five, six, eight by six uh, to a six by four to a two by four. So guys, that is what uh, you're going to want to do to start off with Princess Piace. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get on to the next part. So you guys can see that she then has uh, some sort of ribbon thing that kind of looks like uh, looks like this. So what you're going to do is uh, is go like this. Of course, we only have eight uh, things to go like this. So uh, what we're going to do is actually, uh, we're just going to do a little, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. We're just going to do a little band just like that. Uh, band across. Can't add too much detail uh, because I forgot uh, that we're going to have to do uh, her, um, her flower thing. Uh, so let's not get ahead of ourselves here too quickly. Uh, so you guys can see this is where her body starts. You can see over there with Mario, that's where her arms are going to go down to. Uh, so that will mark where her actual uh, body starts. Now let me go get uh, the pieces I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use this, um, I think I'm going to use yellow terracotta and uh, and blue terracotta. Where is that? The cyan. I'll use cyan. Last time we used blue. I'll use cyan today. I don't think it's really going to matter that much, uh, but I will use it for today's video. Uh, but anyway, we're going to build her up. Uh, so that's three. Uh, just right there. Uh, so after the three, uh, you're going to want to go, um, uh, actually, after the two, maybe, we're going to want to go like this, uh, then like that, like that, like that, like that, 
and like that to create uh, her little medallion. Actually, only on one side. I do apologize uh, for that one, folks. But you're only going to want to do it on one side uh, to create the illusion uh, that she is wearing. It's beautiful. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So that is what Peach's body and legs are going to look like with her giant diamond crescent in the middle of course this is uh you can only make it so tiny so uh that is what it's going to look like let me just say can we do that is that going to make it look better i think we should do that all right so that is the official thing i'm gonna actually go for um so there you go guys i'm so sorry uh that was kind of confusing but we're gonna start here uh, after you do the two 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 uh you want to go the the one block of magenta the one layer and then you're going to go to uh build your medallion and eventually uh, you will have the six so now let's go for the arms which will be a lot easier okay a lot easier for the arms you're going to want a skin color uh you're going to want the uh the pink color and for her um uh, for her gloves i'm going to do the same as mario i'm going to use the white terracotta so we're going to use uh some different little layers today but you want to go uh, a whole uh Pink. I'll just do one arm first. Actually, you're gonna want to do a four by uh, two by two uh, block of pink, and then a, uh, a a two by two. Um, there we go. So you're gonna have the uh, the one two layers of two by twos of pink, and then a two by two. Uh, of uh, of skin and then you're going to go straight into the glove for the rest of it so uh, once you get down here uh, then you want to go straight into the glove uh, the rest of the arm will be white and then just like Mario uh, you can make her uh, with her little hand out like that so that's going to be Princess Peach's arm uh, so we'll do the same thing on the other side again one two three uh, four those four blocks and then these four blocks and then the skin color and then down to the purple uh, with the white gloves there we go um, and then there we go we could have her just like that and that will be Princess Peach's body and her arms all officially done. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but anyway, let's come on to the next one. We're going to get her hair to be the beautiful uh, yellow wool that it is. Um, her face will be beautiful like that. Her lips will be um, beautifully pink. Uh, with the wool as well. Um, and Actually, that will match her dress. That'll be weird. We're actually going to use pink. Well, let's see. Should we use pink concrete? I think I'm going to use pink concrete powder uh, for her... Um, for her, uh, for her whatevers. Okay, um, then, uh, her lips. I couldn't. I couldn't think of the word. Um, but then we're going to use uh, a black and a light blue, just like Mario. So let me get the light blue terracotta wherever it is. Here it is. The light blue terracotta as well. And then for her eyebrows, uh, we're going to use a brown wool. So where is the brown wool at? Here it is. So we're going to use brown wool for her eyebrows. So and then we'll do her crown at the very end. But let's get right into it. If you don't remember how to do the head, it's quite simple. All you have to do is uh, do the two uh, one block off from the arm, uh, then do the two off the arm uh, to create her head coming forward and then go to off the back of her which will create a nice little six by six uh head so then that's basically all you have to do and now we will work on her face where her lips will come in first just like that uh very simple just like that right there now i don't know if we're going to have room uh, for her eyes so let's do her eyes um now i actually might have to put her lips here i forget uh so let's let's do a little trick guys uh, my first trick if you want if you put it's going to fall. See, it falls. But if you take string and you go like this, then it will not fall. You see, it's amazing. And you can't see it. Look, does it even look like there's string there? No, it doesn't. You're lying if you say yes. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go back. Uh, I think that's going to actually end up looking better. So we are going to use this method. Oh, I forgot the white terracotta. My bad. Uh, we're going to go the two white terracottas on the side with the black one, just like we did Mario's eyes, uh, except for she does not have that uh, top over layer. Um, but then we are going to make her eyebrows as well. Um, very beautiful, Princess Peach. You're looking fabulous. Um, then we're going to do her... Uh, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five. So this is only five, but as you could see, uh, her hair actually does uh, come down into her eyebrows as well. So we're going to go that that, um, and then what we can do um, is sort of make her uh, her hair now. So her hair actually comes out one. Uh, so that is exactly uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her hair come out one uh, just like that. Uh, and like that as well. So you can see uh, that's what she's going to look like uh, on the front, just like that. And then her hair actually continues um, to the sides, sort of like this. Uh, 
So I'm also going to do it. And I know it's sort of off the figure. It's not necessarily on the figure, but it adds a little bit of death and you guys of death. Uh, and you guys will see that a little bit later. But we're going to go over uh, to Peach's sides where we have to add her earrings because she doesn't have a lot of, uh, I would just say right here, probably just fill that in right here up to uh, up to where that is. Um, and then what you can do after that is include her earring, uh, which would probably uh, be just about there. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do after that is just add in all of her beautiful yellow hair. Hair. So all of this back here that you added in before, uh, you can sort of just get rid of it. Uh, it was just sort of a base layout. Um, and then you're going to just add Princess Peach's beautiful, beautiful hair. Um, how gorgeous her hair is. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But anyway, um, let's see how uh, her hair actually does go back a little bit further. Uh, so let's just make it like that. So we'll make it like this. There we go. On both sides. Uh, and then after that, just fill it all in. Um, just fill it all so you can't really see anything around her hair. Uh, that will be perfect um, on that side. And then this uh, will fill in this whole middle bit right here. And then, of course, the top of her hair uh, also needs a little bit of a fill in. Um, so all with the uh, the white wool, because uh, I think it just gives it sort of a texture hair rather than the terracotta. Uh, but that is what she's going to look like on the side. So she's not done yet. Don't worry, Princess Peach. You are not done yet. Uh, what you still need um, is actually, as you can see, her hair goes up two blocks. Uh, so what we're going to do, um, I might actually change the side thing again. Uh, I know you guys might be like, really? Change something else, Tripolar? You really, really, really? Yes, I might change something else. Um, but what we're going to do right now, uh, I'll show you this from the top, but we're just going to give her hair a little bit of a, it's not under a hat like Mario's. Um, there she goes. She looked better already, Princess Peach. You look beautiful. You look fabulous. Uh, anyway, so we're going to add that little uh, top part of her hair, and we will add her crown, but we do need to add uh, the back side of her hair, which pretty much just runs down her back. Uh, so what you could do is uh, pretty much just go like this. So you want to do a full layer here with a uh, right just like that to there. Um, and then you're going to do it again. And then you're only going to do it to here and then go like that. And then you're only going to do it to um, here like then and then go like that. And then you're going to put it to there. So it's going to look like that when you're done, um, which looks very, very nice. Uh, so you can just copy sort of that look, how that looks. And then last but not least, uh, we have to do her crown. So uh, her crown obviously made of gold. So this is why we didn't use uh, the... the T terracotta. I couldn't think of what it was called for a second. Uh, we can use the terracotta because we are now going to use it uh, for her crown. So you can see her crown also has uh, red in it. And I think it has other colors on the side. Uh, okay, it's just blue. Blue and blue and blue. Okay, blue and okay. Boom. All right, so what we're going to do uh, now is just take the find the center of her head, which is going to be right there. Um, and let's actually move it back just a little bit. Um, you're going to want to go like that. You're going to want to go like that and sort of make a uh, sort of make a medallion, but like an opposite medallion. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean by that. But um, basically, uh, then what you're going to want to do is just go like this. Uh, and make her a nice little short crown on her head. And then after, she shall look like this. The beautiful Princess Peach. Um, and she's looking pretty good. Uh, if you actually want to make her face look slimmer, um, I don't know if I showed you guys how to do this in the last one, uh, but you can uh, go like this uh, and sort of make her face uh, look a little bit slimmer just like that, and we could actually do it on this side as well. Uh, so we can make her look a little bit slimmer. She actually doesn't uh, look that much slimmer, but she looks a little bit better, honestly. Um, but I think I'm gonna go back to the original. Uh, and this is the part of the video where I'm just messing around and, and seeing other things that may work, may not work. Um, I want to see actually what she would look like if we just got rid of all this. Uh, if she would actually look better without that little hair coming off the side of her. Ooh, she's got a hole in her head now. What are we gonna do about that? Um, we're going to get some yellow wool and fill that in, princess. Um, I think I actually like her better without it. Um, I think she actually looks a lot better without it. But you guys see from the side of her, uh, that is what she does look like. So that is awesome, guys. That is how you build a Princess Peach. So let me go put Peach down there. She's adorable. She's next to Mario. She's happy. And uh, yeah, that is just how you build uh, the classic Peach uh, with her pretty much uh, normal um, uh, um dress on uh so if you want to see a different version of peach guys let me know in the comment section below guys who do you want me to build next let me know in the comment section below if there's any skin that you're dying to learn how to build because i will build it uh for you but you can see there's mario and peach uh next to each other living in harmony so all your friends impress your friends build this and we'll see you guys inside the next one peace out guys make sure to subscribe and like the video peace out guys bye